Pag ibang kaya, either teams of this, uh, manalo sa upper bracket match, Dream High Esports versus Alpha, Game 3 na mga kaibigan. Yep, indeed. So off the bat, Alpha learning from their mistakes in game number two, immediately banning out Harith, and then they've likewise banned Cho as well. But Dream High Esports responding with the Kadra pick. So the usual bans, and of course, it's surprising. I say, a lot of, you know, I see that if Harith gets chosen a lot, he really dishes out a lot of damage. So banning Harith is really a, re a, is a, is a very intelligent strategy nowadays. Kasi of how impactful he is in terms of team fights. Laking bagay talaga ng Harith, you know, na nagkaka, nagkakagulo talaga ng di oras. And the moment, it's so hard to get hold of a Harith. That's why usually pag may nakita kang Harith sa kalaban, insta-lock on the Franco. And uh, this time around though, Franco will be banned out, open Grok, Esme. And this time around, yung Alpha naman ang kumuha ng early game Grok for this game. However, pinamigay ang Esmeralda at yung Kimi. This Kimi is actually going to be the deciding factor for this game because we seen in the previous matchup no Amplify and and they were completely bullied by Rumble Royale. Dahil they could not stop the Kimi. So that's something Alpha has to watch out. Because hey, Kimi was able to destroy most of the towers and Amplify was not able to recover. And usually when you have like a, your uh, Kimi, you, su you supply him with uh, Claude and with Gushon. So that sobrang laki ng space na makukuha ng Kimi mo to push the towers. Yeah, early game pa lang, go for the objectives right away, right? Yeah. At, the mo at the moment you hit level uh, 2 minutes, fertile agad. Yeah. <laughs> para para ma maximize mo yung Kimi. And uh, yun yung usually, ang nangyari, expected na ng mga teams na gagawin talaga ng Kimi users yun. So hahabulin nila around the map. Pupunta agad dun sa pagka-spawn na pagka-spawn ng mga crab, pagka-spawn na pagka-spawn ng turtle, and you start to really get into the flow there the moment that you can shut down the Kimi early on. Tanggalin mo yung buff, agawin mo ng buff, invadean mo. And uh, at early levels, the Kimi doesn't really hurt that much against uh, against heroes. But with the help of the jungle item, it's a bit clear. Yep, indeed. So it could be possible that Dream My Esports will use the Kimi on the jungle side of the map. Because they need the items for him to be potentially devastating in team fights, and it could also bode well as in terms of pushing towers. So Alpha, if you look at their composition, they have to play. On a, on a very defensive approach. Like, of course, you got the Grok that can easily move around the map. You got Diggy that could provide the vision to discover where Kimi is if in case he's going to the jungle. You also have to take note na Meron Kang Lunox that could potentially jump in in front of Kimi. Ito yung paborito kong combo usually sa mid lane. Lunox plus Grok. Napakabis na wave clear. Isang full charge power of nature and then follow up with one wave of brilliance and then you can just go straight to the crab. Alam mo yung tagal ng crab. Parang 45 seconds pa lang, nandun ka sa Rab, nag-aantay ka. Ano ba yan? Nasaan na yun? Nasaan na yung Rab? <laughs> then, then, of course, you usually have to go to uh, a jungle camp, a green jungle camp. And then, proceed to either fight on one of the lanes or just, you know, try to hunt down the buffs. Yep, it is. And uh, maganda combo yun. Gagawin nila later on for sure. Uh, tingnan lang natin kung paano sasabayan yung Kimi, though. That's gonna be the big question. Uh, the Kimi will have a lot of protection. Ang daming frontline para sa Kimi na to. My gulay. Yeah, go in, may Esmeralda ka na, may Kufra ka na, tas trees pa on the solo lane. So, pag nag-engage either one of these three tanks, gonna be for sure. I yeah. mean, hindi tank si Teresa, but obviously, <laughs> kunat yan, man. Hindi <laughs> 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 mo so, basta-basta mapapagsak yan. So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Of course, you want to make sure that yung Kimi's pushing options are very available. And of course, you want to make sure that Kimi could unleash his ultimate in case of 5v5 teamfights. So, you really go for a really beefy lineup. And there you see, that's four. Four like damage absorption heroes oh, on Dream High Esports. Bellerik, hindi naman hindi mo masadong halatang uh, gusto nilang buhay yung Kimi, no? <laughs> slight lang, slight lang. But here's so, the scary part, you know. Meron kang Teresa, eh. so you got damage and you got damage absorption as well. That's right. You have Kimi, so we can just do pure damage. So hmm, this is actually a really good comp by Dream High Esports, kasi meron kang defensive option. Meron kang balance with with offense as well. And you have wave clear. I think yung yeah. pinaka important na hindi dapat makalimutan meron din silang wave clear from the Teresa and of course from the Esmeralda. And uh, Kimi goes for the objectives. You know, everyone's happy. However, uh, I feel like there's still a lot of team fighting potential in the early game. Para naman dito sa Alpha with the Lunox pickup. I feel like the Lunox crack is just too OP right now. I mean, the, although yeah, Lunox did get nerfed like by 10 move speed. But, you know what? Still a strong hero, especially at the moment you 
before you get level 4 and when you get level 4. Yep, indeed. Man. Right now, for Team Alpha, of course, you you see the lineup of Dream My Esports. Yep. As much as possible, you want to get that damage ASAP. Meron ka nang jump in. Kasi, Meron, you have the Lunox, you have the Grok that can move around, and then Guinevere at some point to jump in in case you want to really go aggressive. But as much as possible, kailangan mo rin ng burst damage efficiently. Laban sa, laban sa lineup na pinapakita mismo ng Dream High Esports. Exactly. So, yung efficiency na lang sa pagkuha ng gold, paunahan lang tayo sa level 4 kasi feel like pag nag-level 4 din tong uh, Dream High, uh, palag-palag din. Yeah. Uh, the no Kimi will need a lot of items though to scale up. So, sana hindi inaasa ng Dream High lahat ng damage nila into this Kimi. Uh, quadruple bodyguard <laughs> Quadruple bodyguard composition. Uh, pwedeng pwede naman. It still does work by itself. Yung Esmeralda hindi din joke na sobrang sakit din talagang uh, ka-hype-hype pag lumabi yung Esmeralda so maybe pag nag gawin na lang nila panggulo na lang si Esme and uh, just you know have Kimi farm in the far lane ibato mo sa malayong lugar para hindi masyado mapansin just keep the fight here Maga. yep indeed so ba? ano ba tao ano ba yung magandang termino ano para, para saan yung sa Kimi tapos may apat na pa PSG lineup. PSG. <laughs> Presidential <laughs> guard. <laughs> Kimi, Kimi mo may ano? Kimi mo may bouncer. <laughs> Ayon. Ina lang Kimi mo may bouncer composition. Uh, for the meantime, sino ba tayong manal dito? By the way, share nyo nga pala itong stream at sabi nyo din sa amin sa chat kung sino ang predicted nyo na manal dito. Kung makaka, uh, sino bang makatuwan? By the way, hindi walang uh, two zero today and major close na close. Uh, it's very exciting. Dream high ba or Ang Alpha. Yep, indeed. Sobrang excited na tayo. Of course, this is going to game number three, Alpha, and then you have Dream High Esports. Of course, Alpha showing their veterancy in this tournament. Dream High Esports, the young blood, indeed, showing a lot of promise. And we've seen that promise in game number two with the way Yaknu has been playing so far. Yeah, I really like Yaknu. Yeah, Yaknu, man. Really per he's really consistent. Pag may nuka sa pangalan mo talaga, eh, iba, iba talaga yung uh, aura. Eh. You know, man, actually, pati ko, <laughs> may nuka sa pangalan. Aknu, may, basta may ak Aknu ka. Anu or whatever. Anyway, let's go into the game. Alpha versus Dream High Esports Game Three. I feel like uh, it's very easy to say na medyo mababa yung early game na team fighting capabilities this time ng Dream High, which is na uh, magulat kasi usually di ba dun sila umaasa nga. I mean, they win games almost purely by the early game snowball na hindi mapigilan. Uh, and then signature na talaga para sa kanila yon. So yeah, yung, yung, curious, no? Na curious din. Yung team fight option ng nila would have to be yung Nature Shield ni Bellaric, and then, of course, in when it comes to like you, that's for like sustain. Oh. But for damage outburst, you're gonna rely on Falling Star Moon. Tapos yung uh, like early game. Oh. Oh. But for yeah, that's going to be something that they have to discover. Like yung team fight options more for the defensive end could be a bit limited. But of course, they got a beefy lineup, so. That could actually overcompensate sa lineup mismo ng, uh, ng Dream High. Overall, pag tumagal, they have a great chance. But do not forget, meron ding Claude ang Alpha dito. It's gonna be very scary as well. Si Gulaman still on the Guinevere. So, what we're gonna see here is a pretty intense upper bracket match. Don't forget, yung matatal dito will still have a chance to uh, fight. Matira natin so far. Of course, what we, want, what we want to find out as well is how well and how long can they actually hold out the late game. Kasi right now, lalamang talaga sa late game, I would say, in Dream High Esports. Kahit na may Claude sa Alpha, they have a strong bet if they can keep the Kimi alive. Let's run them down. Alpha, we got Doc Men on the Grok, Akashi on the Claude. Why not on the Diggy, Kingpin on the Lunox, and Ghoul? On the Guinevere. And on the side of Dream High Esports, they're going to be representing the red colors. Yaknu as your Kimi. <coughs> Wise is going to be playing as your Esmeralda. Zico is going to be playing as Bellaric. Dilar is going to be playing as your Terizla. And V1 is going to be playing as your Kufra. Yeah, I have to wonder like how well can the uh, the Diggy survive this time around. Or the uh, Guinevere can survive this time around. Kanina yung Guinevere, uh, it did well. Pero siya lang talagang gumakalaw. That's yeah, very that's difficult. Uh, siya lang nakapag-survive kumbaga sa early game to mid game so we'll have to wait and see if that's gonna be the same here Dilar a lot of pressure and the turtle masakit palaga mahirap i-contest yung uh, crab pag uh, merong Terizla sa din mo yeah you have Terizla tapos meron kang Kufra na umiikot now for the side of like uh, Alpha I mean 
you have why not so he could be like your potential difference maker kasi meron siyang times journey which is actually very crucial against a lineup ng dream high esports of course you're gonna negate yung crowd control potential ng dream high esports which is something that could create space or opportunity para sa team alpha yeah and team alpha they're just trying to survive under turret right now despite you know should supposedly being a stronger early game because I mentioned about regen si Docman and Kingpin also uh, just staying soon. in the mid lane for the meantime yeah. and yeah. just not trying to pick fights and basically it's dream high esports na ayaw pong malag kung baga ikaw yun na gahanap ka ng laban pero walang kumapatol yun yung nang yun nangyari sa lang yun definitely so far medyo steady pa lang yung matchup between dream high and alpha because in the first two games we immediately oh. saw skirmishes <laughs> within seconds pero ito Miss, you know, dalawang minuto pa lang, wala pang kills na nagaganap. I mean, gigil na gigil na yung Lunox, pero wala nang lumapit. <laughs> Patakbo lagi. Which is again, be in favor of DreamHike, kasi napapatagal nila yung game. And they're starting to develop this small lead, however, of course. Uh, but they want to go for the fight, they pick up the lar with a knock-up and the follow-up from that Lunox. So magandang bigayan dito from Alpha, although na-reset yung Turtle. And top lane, Nakashi just uh, trying to stay alive again with the Blazing Duet through the minion wave. No more kills, payata to. Buti lang wala pang additional tower hits. Of course, Dreamhide will get killed, but followed suit really quickly by Alpha. Now, if you're Alpha, if you really want to survive the matchup night, though, you need to get most of the turtles immediately, and you have to make sure that si Yaknu will not have space to come back in terms of like pushing towers. Time journey popped out, turtle taken by Alpha. Ito na bombs have been set. Of course, it will still be the fight. Nejuma baba nga lang yung mana ni King Pins. Yana call mo sa back da mo na walang HP din si Gul in that exchange. However, iak no just kopo pina para sa han ng malupet yung Claude Rocket not gonna be enough to finish him off. Pero hindi di siya makapag defense sa top lane turret will be taken down by the Kimi. Napakabilis. Yeah, this is something you don't want to happen if you're Alpha. As much if Kimi gets so much space to push towers, and then you're trying your your early game aggression. Hindi siya maging epektibo kasi Kimi's already getting the other objective. So maybe your early game distraction might eventually change. Baka lumipat na hunt down Kimi. And then that's going to create space for the other members of Dream High to get the other important objectives. I mean, Dream High Esports, they weren't able to get the turtle. But you can see happening here. They might go down, Doc Men. Mabilisan kay Kuya Doc Men. Why not way too late? On that time journey. Oh my god, Akashi, hirap na hirap na din mag farm. Binabuli ng Diggy. Ah, sorry, ng Kimi in a Belleric combination sa top lane. Yeah, this is really good pressure on the side of Dream High Esports. As much as possible, ayaw mong ibigay ng oportunidad si Akashi na magpakitang gilas, lalo na sa mid to the late game. Because we know what Claude is capable of doing. He can actually split towers, he can actually burst down team fights, and that's something you want to avoid. And he can jump in if he gets what the necessary line? items. Oh my god, Kingpin going in with Dokman. Finally, we have pero looks like why not? He's suffering the same fate. Wise with the Falling Star Rune, Papasok, probably a very dead Grok here. Goes over to the Esmeralda. Kimi will stay alive and Ghoul on the bottom lane still farming it out. And uh, yung Claude din, nipas masal sa team fight. Nakapos King Pin na pin down under the turret. You know, ang, ang maganda sa Dream High Esports, alam nila yung galaw ng Alpha. Kitang kita nila, nasa bush mismo yung Alpha. So biglang tumalon sila dito, which Alpha did not expect. Kasi akala nila, okay, we're gonna go for the counterplay, we're gonna be prepared for the surprise tactics. But instead, it was Dream High Esports with a surprise play, and they did it outside the bush, which is yep. really good play by Dream High. And again, pressure, making use of this Kimi. Ito na yung sinasabi natin, Kimi, gamit na gamit. Ang bilis kumuha ng objectives. And so far, SGD, they're trying to secure Alpha. Actually, oh, they're able to secure the turtle Stolen. again and again and oh, again. Oh my god. Oh yeah, pro, pro move stealing in ng Alpha. And of course, they're still behind, but that's 2,500 gold. And one less thing to worry about, that turtle buff, medyo hindi na siguro magiging ganun ka explosive bigla yung Kimi yep, later on. Yeah, I mean, of course, the turtle buff has been very... Actually, turtle buffs are so important for Alpha right oh, now. For up, Doc, man. Mm -hmm. Playing around the tower, gets a lot of damage from the Kimi, knock up into Tyrant's Rage. Gonna be enough to clear it out. Yung turret niyan, sandali an lang yan, maadikitan lang yan sandali. Nung Kimi, and may tanki pa, may double bouncer pa, nakasama. Yep, indeed. So far, Dream High Esports were able to get that gold advantage. It's courtesy because of Kimi getting the farm and because of him getting the towers. So, buti na lang Alpha was able to secure that turtle. Kasi if they weren't able to secure the turtles, it's going to be a Dream High rolling party na. Dere-derecho na yun. Oh, dere na yun. Pag hindi mo napigilan yung, uh, 
yung turtle. Lalo pag napunta yun sa Kimi. So, yun yung pinaka naiwasan naman ng uh, Alpha dito sa game na ito. Six and a half minutes in. Still have Dream High with a consistent 3,000, 4,000 goal lead. Each and every time, goal trying to catch. Kimi! Oh my god, the act hindi na magtagal against the darkening of Kingpin! A lot of damage being absorbed by Zico. Nahalingon lang sandali yung babysitter. Nahulog na ang bata. It's gonna be a big problem. And again, the Kimi gonna be the key factor in keeping Dream High's esports' win here. Definitely. If they want to keep this streak, the early game streak rolling. Yeah, that's true. And as much as possible, kailan mo siyang protectan if you're Dream High Esports because he's gonna be your one of your main damage dealers. And for him to get bursted out immediately, that's Delish. something Dream High has to watch out. And right now, Akashi, he hasn't yet getting his momentum, but slowly he's building it, which is something you don't want to happen. I mean, just look at the gold lead. It's still relatively small, so it's still an open game in this matchup. Yeah, to be fair, hindi din nagpapa burst down din yung alpha. Uh, at this point, even though so brang up din din. Why is it a knock up into the Esmeralda? No one to save you this time around. Kill goes over to the uh, Lunox. And for the meantime, Bakashi tumutulong na sa back line. My god, everyone is low on Dream High. Barely able to survive because of Nature's Shield. Yep, indeed. Yung Nature's Shield, yung time journey perfectly time. Pero Ghoul tatalo na. No, man. Oh, the oh! wall kill from downtown. Giving over as well the turtle. Alpha, grabe yung mga clutch plays si Dokmen ngayon. Oo oh, nga eh. Steal ng ano, you know, steal ng turtle, kill ng kiwi. That's what you want to see from a grab. This is really good. This Dokmen has really performed so far efficiently. I mean, yeah, that's what you want to do. You shut down Kimi in this game. Kasi it allows Akashi to slowly build his momentum up, to build his confidence. Oh. And that's the right plan. I thought Kimi was going to survive there kasi he was dishing out a lot of damage to the other members. Akashi wasn't able to... To further maximize yung kanyang uh, blazing duet, kasi Yaknu was just there, yeah. just going for the chemical uh, chemical attacks. But with the, with with the presence of Dogman, it really changes the scope of this match. Oh, here we go again, keeping that mid lane in check. The Lunox and Grok combination, inapaka solid na combo yan mga kaibigan. And items are looking. Uh, I want to see the items as well. If we can do the item check, because I feel like we should also keep track of where the Claude is. Eight, almost nine minutes. I think Kakabulang yung Golden Staff, so he's actually fairly behind. Pero I think at this point, if he joins the team fights, nako isang malupet na pagsabog ng magaganap. Yep, indeed. So kailangan ni Akashi magingat dito. He already has Golden Staff, which is very promising. That's actually uh, that actually shows how uh, he's actually recovering very well, and that's what Alpha needs. He needs his damage to be completely bursted. Dinar knock up into the time reversal. Walang kadaka sa kas another kill for the Guinevere. Pumahabul na. Dogman going for the chase this time around. On to Esmeralda. Yan naman si V1, so he should be able to just be fine. Bottom lane being pushed by the rest remaining members of Alpha. Dito sa baba. Very easy turret take, and uh, just like that, Alpha now in the lead and goal by 1,000. Yep, indeed. Of course, Guinevere Sigul so far is actually building up his momentum in this matchup, which is so important for Alpha because they cannot solely rely on Akashi in this game. They have to rely on the other members. Kingpin is actually doing a pretty good job. Ghoul likewise as well. So with the synergy with Why Not and uh, Dokman, it actually creates a lot of opportunities for Alpha. It's not divine leave. Oh my god, that's bomba! <laughs> it's a lot of damage! Kufra are not able to sustain! Grabe naman yun! I think they want to go straight to the Lord, but looks like Wise, he has this. Friend plans na block out yung Kimi and the backup from Dilar hindi tisha mga pasok na kapag penalty zone sa wala there the Kimi doing a lot of damage campaign with the darkening no targets available for him I feel like that is gonna be equal two for two trade very Akashi still alive as well and the Kingpin I felt like Alpha if they want if they want to get that necessary momentum kill onto Dream My Esports kailangan yung Guardians barrier has to be on point and we see on that team fight Dogman's Guardians barrier it was blocking out it was blocking out Yaknu. So Yaknu has space to dish out a lot of damage. So Akashi cannot you know. further jump in because of the fact that your Guardian's barrier is already Oh Akashi. Oh, na men, ang problema. Dito man si V1 just to keep them alive. So wala mo na magkakabatayan pero kita mo naman. Medyo may gamit na din si Akashi. So he's doing quite well there on uh, the Claude, They're starting to get the Corrosion site as well, so medyo may pampabagal factor na din siya mamaya. Not if that's gonna be a case. Si Kimi though, he also has almost complete items as well. Yeah, Blade of Despair and a Genius One as well. That's a, that's a lot for a Kimi. A lot that kaya, you need. kaya si Akashi, hirap na hirap pumasok dahil sa, dahil sa Genius One na yan. 
Sakit din half dito Actually, talaga. Actually, the magic no? penetration is just might be too much. Oh, the Lord will go over to Alpha and Zico all alone on the back line. Kingpin getting a mega kill. Ayan na, buha pasok yung Akashi sa likod. Si Wise, ang bab, ang bilis na buha baba ng HP nila. Hindi na kayang i-handle ng frontline ng Dream High. Yung bawas ng Alpha sa lagay na to. No, normally, when you look at Kimi, if Kimi actually survives, it's a lot of damage for Dream High Esports. Pero sa matchup na yun, kitang kita natin because of the survivability on oh. the side of Team Alpha, Kimi's damage isn't really that enough. I mean, he's Napalayo actually. Napalayu na kasi siya. Sobrang layu niya, yeah. sobrang backline niya. He's busy dealing with with uh, Akashi, but then you realize Akashi's got that. He can absorb a lot already. Oh, tas BMI lang palayo, di ba? So nangyari yun in the mid lane, Kingpin nako free hit on the Lunox, but not be able to kill D Lar. Ay na. For uh, Nature Shield, gonna be able to keep them alive. Yaknu, though, he's gonna be there and he is not in the position to take anyone out. Well, given he's still the, alive, though. Yeah, I mean, given the fact that Alpha could actually uh, dish out a lot of damage with Akashi, parang secondary objective na lang would be oh, to my. get Yaknu. <laughs> Hindi na kailang niya kunin si Yaknu. As long as you get the other members because of what Claude is doing. And si Kingpin steady na lang din. Hindi yeah. na din masyadong na problema na kung yun hunting ba siya or na position ba siya ng maganda. I feel like uh, secondary na si Kingpin na target. Ang ginagawa ngayon ng uh, Dream High, pinapanood nila kung nasan ba si Akashi? Nasan ba tong sila Ghoul? And it's working it's working well for the Lunox. Okay lang siya. Yeah. Uh, again, the problem is si Iaknu. Masakit na. Masakit yung Kimi Iaknu. Pero hindi siya makalapit. Yeah, that's true. Hindi nga siya makalapit. I mean, of course, you got the protection. But then, take note, Akashi's got Demon Hunter Sword. So, no, oh. matter, no matter how tanky your lineup is, the fact that Akashi could actually penetrate your backlines immediately because he could just jump in Blazing Duet and it's all over for these four members on Dream High Esports. Yeah, and sometimes that's all it takes. Isang magandang pwestuhan ng Blazing Duet. Kita mo naman, hindi nakagalaw ng maayos si Wise. Kahit na Esmeralda pa siya, tumatagos sa shield. Uh, because again, anti-tank talaga yung uh, Demon Hunter Sword combo na yan. Especially na Claude, top lane turret. Looks like hindi na siya tatagal. Time journey just to make sure that the rest of the team is safe. Monster kill na si Kingpin dun Power. sa likod. Yep, and so far, Power of Nature popped out though. Cosmic Fission, lumalaban na. But Akashi so far trying to intimidate members of Dream High Esports. But instead, they're shifting their attention to this tier 3 tower. Very intelligent play on Dream High Esports. Wow, grabe naman yun. And again... Just like that, without any casualties incurred, nalinis na din ng Alpha yung top and bottom inhibitor turrets. 80 seconds on the Lord though, so I feel like malakas pa rin ang wave clear ng Dream High Esports. Kayang-kaya lang tumagal dito kung sakali. The problem is, yun, di ka na naman makalabas sa base mo, and ang lakas din ng pick potential ng Alpha ngayon. Yeah, tapos ito pa, immortality na kay Kingpin. So his survival rate is already going to increase. Ibig yep. sabihin, take note, Kingpin has damage items na. And then you have like that immortality. So ibig sabihin, he could just jump in anytime together with Akashi. So Yaknu has to be cautious now. Kasi he could be bursted down immediately. I mean, sure, meron kang nature's shield which could actually protect Yaknu. Pero baka hindi yun enough eh. Lalo na with the itemization set onto Alpha. Yun nga yung problema doon. Ano ba, ano ba tingin mong magandang play dito? Bato na lang natin si V1 <laughs> sa gitna ng laban. And uh, just keep him alive with the uh, Belleric maybe. I mean, basta maka-damage si Iaknu no? Yun yung hinahanap ko dito eh. Mahirap yung bawas na, eh. na si Iaknu. Mahirap na eh. Kasi sure, meron kang damage from Iaknu and you got some potential crowd control. Kaso nandun si Why not eh. Yung time journey niya, potential difference maker na yan eh. In nga yun, and I think, uh, habang tumatagal din, medyo nagiging mas mahirap din para sa Dream High Esports uh, makahanon ng magandang posisyon. However, syempre, may late game power din naman si Esmeralda. That's true. And uh, pag kumunat yan, pag hindi na namamatay-matay basta-basta, expect na medyo mas mahirap ng Alpha. So pag tumagal to, I feel like it's gonna be a lot worse for Alpha as well. Kasi I feel like the yung Claude, medyo parang uh, power spike na yun eh. Yun na yeah. yun eh. No diba? doubt, power spike na mismo yung code. Take note, why not? Yeah, no? Wala. Hindi, oh. Na <laughs> <laughs> dealer, eh. Of course, for the meantime, tatagal naman siya because of the wing, uh, of Queen's Wings. Pero hindi na yon permanent. He will be able to be taken out. Akashi, kinachikachi habang uh, yung teammates siya, of course, is pinapatay on the other side map. Yep, indeed. Ito na suppress si Kingpin dito. Pero tumalo na si Akashi, blazing the wet onto two targets. And Ayun they're able to get the kill. This is over na Alpha. Wala na yun yata, man. Wala na yung Kimi. I think uh, you don't, you can't ask for more than that. Uh, three man down. And actually make that four man down. Only Zico alive. Napakatagal ng death timer. Sumayaw ka <laughs> Mag-FB ka na lang muna. I feel like that's it. For this Alpha, over. this should be a very clean 
one. Of course, it's not as, fa as fast as in the earlier games, pero it's just as secure. 2 to 1 victory for Alpha! And they are your first team to enter the MPL regular season. Yep, indeed. This is really a great performance on the side of Team Alpha. You thought not they had Lucila early on because.